Let's now go to a region where the United States influence is waning. We are talking about West Asia. Before we tell you what Washington did, let me tell you what its arch rival did in the same region. After proposing a point by point peace plan in the Russia Ukraine war, and you would have guessed which nation I'm talking about, and after meeting the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince, China's Xi Jinping invited a key player of West Asia, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, who met with Xi Jinping's most trusted man, Premier Li Chiang. The Israel Palestine issue is much older and complex. It's a much more complex conflict than the Russia Ukraine war. But Beijing is not playing here. China has floated three point proposal to resolve the Palestine dispute. Xi Jinping has backed the cause of a Palestinian statehood. Beijing even gave fundamental solutions to establish an independent state and voiced concern for the economy and livelihood of the people. So, another region, another peace plan from China. And this is exactly why Washington is wary. This is a region that has been a backyard for the United States. From trade to diplomacy, US has had a strong say traditionally in the West Asian region, popularly known as the Middle East. But the world order is changing and it is evident. Two things are at play here. One, that China is emerging as a diplomacy mastermind. And two, the West Asian countries are realizing that they can not only depend on the United States. So what is the Joe Biden administration doing? Well, it has approached a country that it literally doesn't see eye to eye with on anything. Iran. Washington and Tehran are in talks over an informal deal. It is aimed at anchoring the current status quo and preventing a potentially catastrophic escalation. Iranian officials are calling it a political ceasefire. The understandings would see Tehran pledge not to enrich uranium beyond its current level. And in return, Washington would promise not to tighten its existing economic sanctions. These are the very elements that were not agreeable to either of the sides earlier. So what changed now? Well, it's the world order which is changing and it has forced the US to change as well. United States is desperate and Iran knows this. With an emerging influence of countries like China and Russia for the first time, Washington might be feeling threatened in its own backyard.